In today's tip of the week video, we'll take a peek at how to scream lithium and decalation potentials for different lithium insertion materials in a fast and accurate way using the new M3 GNET machine learning potential in ARMS. Here's how it works. We first optimize the geometry and lattice of a fully intercalated transition metal oxide or salt and then we remove the lithium ions and optimize the structure again. With the energy difference and the reference energy of a single lithium atom in BCC bulk lithium, we can now compute the average intercalation potential. To generate the next candidate for the screening, we now exchange the cobalt for another transition metal and repeat the calculation. The whole procedure is then repeated, but this time the oxygen atoms are replaced by sulfur atoms. And finally, we screen a list of transition metal phosphates. After establishing the workflow with the help of the graphical user interface, it was transformed into a fully automated Python workflow. All we have to do is provide some geometries of fully intercalated materials. The script will auto-generate all other materials from these two structures following the recipe outlined above. I will put a link to the workflow into the video description if you want to try yourself. To execute the workflow, we simply pass it to the ARMS Python interpreter as shipped with every ARMS version and wait for the results. Here is where the true advantage of the M3G net machine learning potential manifests. On my desktop workstation, the execution of this workflow finished within 23 minutes, while a geometry optimization at the DFT level of theory will take many days to complete. Yet the accuracy of the predicted intercalation potentials remains very close to that one of the much more demanding DFT calculations. So that's it for today. Make sure to check out the links below this video if you're interested in this or any other battery material related simulations. I hope you found this useful and as always we're happy to answer any questions or comments below this video.